Right, now that we have Python installed in our machines, we need a way of us writing some Python code. In order for us to write Python code, we need to use a text editor. So the same way that if you write English or you wanna write some documents, you use, for example, Microsoft Word. Well, when it comes to programming, we have specific text editors that allows us to write code in any programming language. And the text editor that we're going to install to write some Python code will be VS Code. So VS Code is an amazing text editor built by Microsoft and is widely used in the industry. Let's go ahead and install it. If you navigate to google.com and then type VS Code, so this first link where it says Visual Studio Code in here, so let's click on it. So in this course, we're going to write Python code, so we can use VS Code to write Python code. But we can also use VS Code to write any code in the other different programming languages. So this tool is actually made by Microsoft and it's very popular so that you know. Now let's go ahead and download. So simply click on download. And then in here, you can see that we have different operating systems. So if you are on Windows, click Windows. If you are on Linux, click Linux. If you're on Mac, click on Mac. So the installation process is very straightforward. So in here, because I'm on a Mac, I'm going to download for Mac. Just give a second. I'm going to allow now to download. And there we go. And there we have it. So I do have this Visual Studio Code app right here. So this is the actual application itself. And if you don't see this on your desktop, it's because you have a different destination when you download applications, right, or files. Most likely it will be inside of the downloads folder. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this application and then put it inside of the applications folder and only do this step if you are on a Mac computer. Now, let's collapse this and then let me open up the finder. There we go. And I was saying, so if you don't see this file inside of desktop, it's most likely inside of the downloads folder. Now let's open up applications. So this is where we have the list of all applications. And all we got to do is just put it inside here. And there we go. It's as simple as this. Now we can click on it. You can see that we have VS Code installed. 